I'm Bob Young with Nuts About Nets, here to answer the question, what's the difference between interference and congestion in the wireless environment? Up here I've drawn a couple of points for you to see. Let's talk about the data first. With interference, the data packets are destroyed. We can't decode the ones and zeros of the information. With congestion, the information is not destroyed. All of the information is completely intact. With interference, we're very likely to have packet retransmission. The ones and zeros that were destroyed as part of our data that was corrupted by the interference has to be resent in order for the receiving end to have all of the information. With congestion, since no data was destroyed, we don't have packet retransmission. With interference, we have slower performance because of the data destruction and packet retransmission. With congestion, we do have slower performance, but in this case, it's because the available bandwidth is shared among multiple users. So what's the difference between interference and congestion? Both of them affect performance, but in very different ways. When you troubleshoot a poor network performance problem, you have to determine whether or not it's caused by interference. That you can see with the RF spectrum analyzer. Or you have to know if the problem is caused by congestion. And that you'll find with, with other tools that we haven't talked about in this series. To summarize, we see that interference and congestion both cause our network to be slow. The difference is in how we troubleshoot and solve the problem. Interference problems can be troubleshot and solved with an RF spectrum analyzer as we look at the quality of the RF environment and how it's impacting the data. Congestion problems are troubleshot with different methods. We need to look at our network users and make sure that we have enough capacity to handle all of the data in the system. Thanks so much for watching the video. We've got some other videos with helpful information about specific wireless performance issues. I hope you'll check them out.